Hello Facebook friends, I hope you're all doing well. Um, this is Sandy here. Um, I'm just showing you this um, beautiful fabric that I've got on the bench today and how I'm attaching a four centimeter band at the side of these blinds I'm making for a customer. Um, I've positioned it onto the salvage uh, end um, just before the pattern starts. Um, I've done a centimeter, a very small um, uh, seam um, and I'm obviously going to be trimming it down and then ironing it out so I've given it a good press at the front so you can see what the band will look like and then I'm going to fold over um, the right amount so you've got your four centimeters um, at the front on the front seam I'm just showing you how I do my uh, bottoms of my Roman blinds and I always allow eight centimetres allowance from the bottom of the blind um, so that you've got sort of a double four centimetre hem and I always bring the lining all the way down and then double fold it with the fabric and as you can see here I'm taking the lining right down into that crease line and then ironing it all together um, but make sure you really get that lining right into the into the crease line because you don't want any kind of gaps um, and it, it won't sit very nice and you've got to remember that you're going to have a dowel going through the bottom of the blind so the lining uh, really helps the dowel stay in place um, and it just tucks it in really neatly and gives it sort of stability if you like so I'm obviously uh, ironing along here getting it nice and neat and then I'm double hemming the um the blind so I'm tucking that under making sure the sides are nice and straight and um tucking in any kind of like salvage bits that might be sticking out I will be hand sewing that side bit um and then leaving one open so I can get the bottom bar in to that channel and then I will sew the channel up once I've got the bottom bar in but at the moment I'm just literally going along the bottom and making sure the lining is all tucked in nicely. So we're at the top now we put the velcro in and I've pinned in the top tucked it out tucked it under so that I could start hand sewing but I just want to show you how lovely this banding looks um, it picks out the teal in the fabric um, and I think the client's going to really love it so yeah I'm really happy with that. So here we have it, the final blind with the lovely banding at the side that matches the print. Thanks for joining me today with this very short little video and I'll see you all very soon.